So now we practice together all six combinations you have seen. Now everything from this level. Uh, I wish you good luck. You have seen all these combinations we practice together. Uh, I think you know the most important things you know now. I would like to show you now what we do together in the next level. In the next level is my goal to teach you to have more power and more speed with your cuts. And uh, this is a great method. I use it um, when I practice and I will show it to you. When I do it in the front of you, when you think to a fight position, when you turn, um, the most of the martial artists, uh, they, they, they used un unarmed fighting system. They will tell you, if you turn your back to the enemy, to your opponent, it's very dangerous. This is in Kenjutsu a little bit different because the sword is so fast and when I turn my back, the whole sword will follow my body. Because when I stand here and I turn my back, the sword will come so fast. I would like to also tell you, use the sword with right, right hand or in one hand. It's a very important uh, weapon you have because when you fight against more than one, opponents so it helps you to be extremely long and when you turn you need the turns because when I, when, I, when I go to this side I see something somebody is behind me then I can turn and cut and from here again I can turn and cut again so this is the real soul of the battlefield uh, in Japan some systems are using always two hands and when you have read the book of Miyamoto Musashi he explained it very good he, he told in his book sometimes it's good when you have when you use two hands and sometimes it's good when you use one hand so you have to really be flexible and my, my, in my system I start with one hand that you really can develop yourself fastly because in our times it's uh, it's it's really difficult I know to practice martial arts because you have uh, a lot of things to do so I create a system because I work with a lot of business people they have no time uh, so and I create a system which can uh, which helps them develop themselves and also get fun and also for me it's important because uh, it's it's difficult to start always from the beginning, always from the beginning. Of course, I have a lot of students in very high level, but uh, I find it not correct when the master only teach advanced students because uh, sometimes when a beginner comes and he has a, a little background, I can I, when I teach him, he can develop uh, ten times faster as uh, a student teach him. Ah, this is the, 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 the difference between the, maybe the students they're teaching and the master. Yeah. For me it's really important individually teaching uh, because uh, it makes more fun to see how fast I can develop one person. So this is really a great thing. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of masters the, um, they practice long time martial arts but they have no spirit and I think one of the reasons will be maybe because you have, you have a system and you start always from the beginning and you always start from the beginning and this makes you maybe tired so the system of the of the, the syllabus uh, is, is really important so my, my system is designed that the students can make very fast progress. As a conclusion, I would like to show the technique with the maximum speed to the camera that you can imagine uh, how dangerous you are. But don't forget the philosophy. This is only for defend yourself. If somebody in battlefield attacks you, then you can use it. Don't forget it, please. Hey.
Thank you very much for watching. I wish you good trainings and uh, see you on the next course. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you.